Good morning, dear students. Uh, my name is Farhan Mazar, and the subject today we are studying is uh, Physics 505, Physics 5054. And uh, we are working on uh, today in this video on the stars and the birth of the star, how a star is born. So we will see what is a star and how the stars are born. So let's start today's uh, topic and here we go. Stars are balls of gas, mainly hydrogen and helium. Nuclear reactions in the heart of stars, such as those in nuclear bombs, generate enormous energy, which the star sends out as heat and light. The heart of a star reaches 16 million degrees centigrade. A grain of sand this hot could kill million, someone 150 kilometer away. So the gas, the gas in the stars is in a special hot state called plasma, which is made of atoms stripped of electrons. In the core of a star, Hydrogen nuclei fuse, which means join together to form helium. This nuclear reaction is called a proton proton chain. Stars twinkle because they are seen through the Earth's atmosphere. Astronomers work out the size of a star from its brightness and its temperature. The size and brightness of a star depends on its mass, how much gas it is made of. The sun is a medium-sized star. No star has more than 100 times the sun's mass or less than 6-7% of its mass. The coolest stars such as Arcturus and and Taris glow reddest. Hotter stars are yellow and white. The hottest are blue white, like Rigel and Zeta puppies. A blue supergiant Zeta puppies has a surface temperature of 40,000 degrees centigrade. While Rigel is 10,000 degrees centigrade. Large stars are hot and white, and smaller stars are cool and red. A large star can make energy faster and get much hotter than a small star. Medium-sized stars, such as the sun, looks yellow. Star birth. Medium-sized stars last for about 10 billion years. Small stars may last for 200 billion years. Big stars have short Furious lives of 10 million years. Stars, stars that begin life in clouds of gas and dust are called nebula. Inside nebula, gravity creates dark clumps called EGGs, evaporating gaseous Globals. Each clump contains the, spe the seeds of a family of stars. As gravity squeezes these globals, they shrink and form hot balls of gas and dust. Smaller clumps don't get very hot, so they eventually fizzle out. If a larger clump reaches 10 million degrees centigrade in its core, hydrogen atom begins to join together in nuclear reactions 
and the baby star starts to glow. In a medium-sized star, such as the sun, the heat of burning hydrogen pushes gas out as furiously as gravity pulls inwards and the star becomes stable or steady. So these are here in this diagram, the stars are born and die all over the universe. And by looking at stars in different stages of their life, astronomers have learned about the stages of their existence. So a uh, clump of gas in a nebula starts to shrink into tight balls that will become stars. The, ga the gas spirals as it is pulled inwards. Any leftover gas and dust may form planets around the new star. Deep in its center, the new star starts making energy but it is still hidden by the clouds of dust and gas. The dust and gas are blown away and the shining star can be seen. So this was about the birth of a star and I hope uh, you have understood. Um, my uh, suggestion is that watch more and more documentaries and videos on this topic that will help you to master this concept. Please subscribe my channel, also like this video, share the link of this video. This will help me promote my channel. Thank you very much. Have a good day. God bless you all.